The sea means different things to different people. It provides a highway for world events, covers 70% of the Earth's surface, and most of us live within 100 miles of the ocean. And it is as true today as it has ever been that in any minute on any given day, the Royal Navy's units are on task on the high seas as the safeguard for UK interests worldwide, a truly versatile maritime force. As an island nation, the UK's prosperity is heavily dependent on the sea. International trade accounts for 27% of the UK's GDP, and the vast majority of it is imported and exported by sea. British ports are the most active in the EU, handling close to 600 million tonnes of traffic a year. British maritime trade has increased over the past decade by an average of 2% per year, and more than 50 million passengers come through UK ports annually. The UK also has responsibility for 13 overseas territories. Around 10 million British citizens live and work abroad. As one of the five permanent members of the UN Security Council, a founder member of NATO and a leading European player, the UK is at the heart of the international community's decision-making process. For we live in a turbulent and often uncertain world where circumstances can change like the ebb and flow of the tide itself. To tackle the challenges they face on a daily basis, the Royal Navy's highly trained and well-motivated sailors and marines work as a tightly knit team, operating equipment which forms a unique combination able to exert power over land, in the air and at sea. The Navy is a forward-looking organisation which is set to make a quantum leap into a new era of capability via new ships and aircraft. But it never forgets the lessons of the past and is inspired by timeless examples of courage and sacrifice. In 1805, in just one October day of fire and thunder off Cape Trafalgar, the Royal Navy's tough, determined and highly skilled sailors and marines saved Britain from invasion. But it took just a moment for a sharpshooter to kill Admiral Lord Nelson. His innovative and inspirational leadership had already made best use of the cutting-edge technology of British cannons and superb seamanship of the Royal Navy's officers and men. Nelson's spirit lives on. For in war and peace since Trafalgar, the Royal Navy has made every second of every minute count. In every hour of every day, it has been the ultimate insurance policy against fire, flood, theft, and any other kind of calamity, whether man-made or a product of perfidious nature. The Royal Navy is out there right now. An amphibious task group could be off the coast of Norway, working in close harmony with the Army and RAF to project power across the full spectrum of defence activity. A Trafalgar-class attack submarine may be at sea in the Indian Ocean, a resilient and professional sailors having spent weeks waiting for the order to launch cruise missiles, to hit terrorist training camps with speed and precision up to 1,000 miles inland. Meanwhile, the ice patrol ship Endurance could be venturing far south into Antarctica's frozen seas, taking a break from her surveying duties to respond to a request for help by environmentalists trapped by pack ice. In any minute on any given day in the UK, naval search and rescue helicopters and their air crews are standing by to rescue mariners in distress. Offshore patrol vessels watch out for terrorists who might attack oil rigs, while also looking out for trawlers guilty of illegally plundering UK fish stocks. The Royal Navy's men and women are there if their local communities need help to fight fires or tackle a major civil emergency. At the same moment, task groups might be off some distant shore ready to support a UN peacekeeping mission via a show of force by harriers and the insertion of Royal Marines. Working hard around the world every day are the men and women of the Royal Fleet Auxiliary, whose ships sustain a task group while it completes such a mission. Meanwhile, somewhere out there, deep beneath the ocean, the sailors in one of the Royal Navy's four Vanguard-class ballistic missile submarines are watching over all of us.
they maintain their constant vigil to provide a strategic defence for both the UK and its allies. As a versatile maritime force, the Royal Navy is on watch around the world. Its surface ships, submarines, aircraft and Royal Marines are ready to protect the UK, its interests and citizens abroad every minute of the day.